I am framed by uh, being the, the child of the Holocaust, but also the daughter of the American dream. I always had in me a sense of uh, the need to pursue justice, uh, to, to make things right where they weren't right. How that intersected with being a woman in America in the late 60s was having those frontline experiences, mainly the ones based in ridicule. Having somebody laugh at you and not take you seriously can be very motivating. My grandmother, who was an extraordinary woman, uh, and uh, would make sure that I knew that I could be and would be anything that I wanted to be. My property professor said, why are you in this law school taking the place of a man who's going to have to earn a living and support his family? You'd be better off, Lynn, learning how to fix a dishwasher or an iron so you can save your future husband some money. Even though there were very few women in law school, we had to get together because Individually, individually, we could have some influence, but nothing like the leverage that you have when you have a group. I didn't want to be thought of as a woman who wants to be a man. So uh, I never wore dark clothes. I always wore very colorful clothes. I had long blonde hair. I wore mini skirts and white boots. I was the first woman elected to Congress south of Los Angeles. We formed the Lawyers Club because uh, one, again, strength in numbers. Two, there were laws that had to be changed. Women could not get credit in their own name. They had to have a male cosigner, even if that male was their elderly disabled father who was relying on her for support. Didn't matter. When you change the law, perception and societal outlook changes, it follows. So when I ran, it was called the Year of the Woman. And the Year of the Woman meant there were a number of women running for Congress. But here's the reality. We went from 24 women in the United States Congress to 48. We doubled the number. But 48 women out of 435 members of the United States Congress in a nation where over 50% of the citizens are women? We have to uh, look ahead to make the road easier for the others who we will never know, just as those who we don't know made it easier for us.